Oh, I never once called for cyberbullying or attacks on this professor. This is a deliberate smearing designed to scare me away from calling out blatant anti-white hatred. I won't stop, he tweeted. Good for you. So that is talk show host Candace Owens there defending University of Chicago student Daniel Schmidt after he took to Twitter to voice his concerns about a course the university was offering to students entitled The Problem of Whiteness. The sophomore tweeted this earlier this month, along with a screenshot of the course there. Quote, since I began college a year ago, I've documented all the anti-white hatred I've seen on campus. Without a doubt, this is the most egregious example. Now, the professor teaching that class allegedly called him a cyber terrorist, demanding the university publicly condemn him. The instructor has since postponed that class, but it will come back until spring after she reportedly received death threats. She claims this would allow officials time to develop a safety plan for her and the students who want to take that course. Here to tell his side of the story is University of Chicago student Daniel Schmidt. Daniel, thank you so much for coming. I appreciate that. Um, I know it takes a lot to stand up to, to a big university uh, in offerings there. Um, and Candace Owens even coming to your defense as you just watched with us. Tell us how this all started. Yeah, sure. So I'd like to preface this by saying, you know, I picked the University of Chicago because this school has a history of standing up to this insanity. So it was really sad to see a class like this being offered. But basically, I was just registering for my classes for the winter quarter, and I came upon this class. And for the little over a year I've been in college, I've been using my Twitter at Real D Schmidt to just sort of expose all the insanity I experienced at my school. So I was like, you know what? I need to speak up. This is absolutely insane telling a group of people they're a problem, that their skin color, that their whiteness is a problem. I mean, can it get any more egregious than that? So I made a thread, it gained a lot of attention. About a week later, the professor uh, announced that the class is postponed. And then she started going to media outlets like NPR, and she was calling me a cyber terrorist, a cyber bully, and demanding that my university publicly condemn me. And, you know, I find it so hypocritical because the left has ruined countless lives, you know, waged countless harassment campaigns, canceled so many careers, they get away with it every time. I, you know, I guess have the guts to call this out. And now the school or the professor is urging that I get punished, essentially, and that my my, my name gets smeared, my, my reputation. And I'm not going to stop, though. That's the thing. I'm not going to stop. Yeah, I mean, anytime they put Daniel Schmidt into, into Google, this will forever show up. Um, this is the world that you live in now. Uh, to show both sides of the story, we have that for you. Professor Rebecca Journey describing the class. Here's what she says. Quote, the class is emphatically not about the problem with white people. The class approaches whiteness as a problem in the philosophical sense of an open question with whiteness as an object of critical inquiry. End quote. Again, that from the professor uh, for that course, Problem of Whiteness. What's your reaction to hearing her response? Well, I mean, if I'm being honest, I would love to ask any of the viewers to explain what that means, because personally, I'm hearing that, and I'm a student here, I have no idea what that means. It sounds like absolute um, mumble-jumble. It sounds like just an excuse to get out of it, and it sounds like she's just using a bunch of fancy made-up words to get out of it. I mean, let's just be honest. If there were a class called The Problem of Blackness, that would not have lasted a single day. There would be probably riots in the streets. Joe Biden would probably come down to my school and give a speech. I mean, it would have been a, a huge event, and rightly so. I would have been opposed to a class like that, just like a, just like how I am opposed to a class like this. We should not be dividing people based on race like this. This is not academic value. This is this should not be taught. This is you know, it's just meaningless. And her 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 defense. I mean, again, I would love to hear what any normal people think about that, because personally, it, mean, it means absolutely nothing to me. It just sounds like she's making up a bunch of fancy words to sound smart. Sure, sure. When we first began this conversation, you you told me one of the reasons why you told or you chose the University of Chicago is, is how they have taken a stance in the past. Uh, the university allegedly backing the professor, uh, Professor Journey, they released a statement as well. And here it is for the viewers. They say a crucial aspect of academic freedom is the ability of instructors to design courses and curricula, including those that foster debate and may lead to disagreement. While differences of opinion over course material may arise, the university does not cancel classes because of such differences. And the university defends the freedom of instructors to teach any course that has been developed through our faculty-led curricular process, including courses 
that may be controversial, end quote. Um, I'll have your response on that. Do you think they should cancel the course altogether? Do you agree with the statement they put out? I'm not sure that we should cancel the, the, the course, but we should definitely have a conversation. I think my school, with its emphasis on free speech, we're the number one school for free speech in the country. I think we should have a public conversation. I think instead of the professor calling me names and you know a lot of students are calling me names, we should have a legitimate conversation. Is this class worthy of being taught? And if so, should there be another class called the problem of another group of people maybe to even the playing field and really challenge what the school is saying? You know, my school is truly saying that any class is taught. So if we were to have a class mm -hmm. called the problem of blackness, would that actually be allowed? And I'm not saying that should be taught, but I want to truly challenge my school and I'm not sure if I believe them. I think, you know, it sounds like they're kind of just saying a lot of empty words. I'd love to test them and have a true conversation. I do have to go. I just wanted to ask you, uh, where are you in terms of today in terms of um, the social aspect of being on campus? I'm sure many people know that you have spoken out. Are there others that feel the same way that you do, but maybe aren't stepping up? Yes, I do like to say that there are a lot of silent people who do agree. So if there are any students listening, I promise you, you you're not alone. So definitely speak up. You're going to find people who agree with you, and you're going to enjoy it and appreciate it in the long term. I definitely want to motivate any student listening to speak up. He is a student at University of Chicago, Daniel Schmidt, joining us live with his experience. Daniel, thank you. We appreciate that. Thank you so much.